Okay, is it recording? I assume so. Okay, dokie. So I can start off by doing as you asked and showing the formulas. Uh, I can't see anything past <laughs> the Zoom. Hmm. Oh, oh, is it over here? Okay, show formula. Okay, here we go. Um, there are some points where I did, this needs to be. There we go. I didn't, you know, no, I don't like that at all. I'm just gonna put that down like that just for now, just for just for this, and then I'm gonna turn it in like that, and it'll look pretty. So. Ah, there we go. There's one. I didn't do the clicking for the dice. I'm very sorry. I did the first one. <laughs> uh, I got it done before you did on the video. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. There's more. And then, you know, I just did the copying and pasting. And then there's all that. You know, you can see it. <laughs> you can see it. You're smart. There's one, there's a few. Um, and there's some, yeah. I kept on messing up on this one. I don't know why, but it made me very stressed out, but I got it on like the fourth try. So I don't know what I kept doing wrong, but I got it right. So anyway, okay, let's start. Number one, the probability of a survey. I have, oh, there we go. Dang, I thought I made everything look pretty. Okay, the probability of the survey with all the, I can't even remember what the situation was. Hold on. <laughs> um, I'm so, I'm sorry. It is their opinion on whether federal government bailout money should be used to help homeowners in default. <laughs> Very high octane stuff. And so we have, oh, I did, okay. So we have the formulas of everyone who answered no, um, everyone who answered yes who's a woman, and everyone who answered yes or not sure that is a man, with the fractions, the simplified flat fractions, the decimal to the nearest thousandths, and percent to the nearest tenths. And over here we have um, the answers to the questions. Wait. Yes, this is the original, okay, yeah, things got moved around. This is the original graph, and then this is the one with the questions. And then my little paragraph here is the probability that being that is being used is empirical. I know this because empirical probability comes from the data collected from experiments. The probability can be used to prove a hypothesis as well as inform the general public about what a category they fall in and how much of the population is on their side. So that's that, very simple. And then the probability of products and sums of two dice. I filled these in, I did the copy. Oh, I forgot to bold these. Mm, don't look. I really, <laughs> I thought I went over this. Unreal. Okay, well, it's pretty now. Now turn it in, it'll be pretty. So we have all of these, we have the, I shaded them in green for all the outcomes that matched the prompt and then I have the answers over here. And my little paragraph is the probability of rolling an even number with two or any amount of dice is one half. It doesn't matter if you're rolling two or 60, it's always gonna be simplified down to one half. The probability of rolling a multiple of three with two dice is one third. The probability of rolling a prime number with two dice is 15, uh, 15 36 the probability of rolling a product of 12 with two dice is one out of 36. And that's pretty rare because there's only one outcome, you know? You have to get six, six and, you know. So that's a, that's a, rare, that's a rare occurrence. And three, we have, ooh, don't select it. For three, we have lottery probability. This was eye-opening to me. Um, my graph isn't exactly gorgeous. I had it as the defaults. Um, but yeah, so here you have all the answers and whatnot. 
and the buyers expect it. That's just ridiculous. Oof. Yeah, I feel kind of passionately about this because I've lived through this. <laughs> uh, the paragraph I have is, buying a scratch ticket is a bad idea, folks. You are very unlikely to win anything and statistically likely to lose $1.93. My father used to buy five scratch tickets every week. It's unlikely that sellers would sell less than five million tickets. Like, he counts as one individual, and if you're only considering the fact that each individual is buying one, he counts for five individuals. And uh, he's gone over that, obviously. And this was just back whenever I was like a wee baby, but, and it wasn't anything serious. It was just that, I, even as a very small child, I was just like, you're not going to win. It's not likely and he was like oh but there's a chance but uh, i should send him this and be like ha i was right okay anyway that was petty okay number four odds and probability so we don't really have a situation for this we just have you know odds in favor odds against and so well, mine is a little bit um uh backwards here so i'm sorry about that it doesn't it isn't quite um in line with yours so there's the table. Um, I can oh, I can go back and show the formulas if I used any. Oh dear, that distorted it. Okay, I didn't use any formulas. I'm sorry. I don't even stop it. Oh God, don't freeze. Oh thank. God. Ooh, my computer will sometimes just. Stop doing things. Okay. So my little paragraph here is, you can see the graph. It's pretty nice and neat. Odds are different from probability in that they show one aspect versus another instead of one aspect versus the whole. For example, the probability of a favorable outcome is 9 out of 13, while the odds are 9 to 4. And I didn't know this before, so I learned something new. Well, I, I knew it. Um, I didn't know it before we went over it in class, not before I did this Excel report. I'm not, okay. I pay attention. I do. Okay. Five, military percentages. This was honestly a lot of fun to do. <laughs> like, I'm not really a fan of Excel's um, click everything thing. It, it feels very um, disingenuous to me. A um, little bit time consuming and easily, easy for me at least to mess up. But this was so much fun with all the clicking and all the adding things and all the doing. It was so cool. It was kind of nerding out about it. And so here is the table itself. And here's the graph of the men and women in the military. You can see the little key down there. It's all very nice and neat. Um, and here's the answers to the prompts that were given, and here's my data that I put. I did it very differently from you because I just, what you did was fine for you, but I, I just, oof, that was not for me. And I feel like this is organized enough, and, you know, that's my data. And my paragraph. It's honestly sad how few women there are in the military compared to men. Visually and statistically, I would theorize that with every 100 men, you would have one woman in the military, not like in any selective branch. Women never exceed 20% of the total soldiers in their branch, which is something I noticed. It's sad. Like, Air Force, they almost get there. They almost get there, but it's sad. And I know, you know, woman being in the army is still a very, in the military rather, still a very recent thing, but this isn't um, about the Excel report, I'm just talking. Okay, the binomial, the binomial experiment. Um, so yeah, I copied down everything that you had. It was very handy. Um, with my touch screen, I was able to zoom into the YouTube video. That is just such a, oh, it's beautiful. I've never used my touch screen on my computer before. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay. And so down there, you have the table and whatnot. And I can show you my formula. There it is. Ooh, 